All right, now I'm going to show you the major scale chord formula in C. C is the easiest one to go through because it's the natural key. There's no sharps and flats in it. And uh, first of all, I want to tell you the formula. I know it sounds complicated, but it's really not. When you start to know this formula and you can apply it to the major scales, you can find the chords that work together in any key. It's going to really open up a lot of doors for you. All right, the formula, let's go through that first. I'm going to tell you the formula's fullest form, and then you'll see how it will water down to uh, the 1, 3, 5 chords or the root 5 chords as well. It goes 1, which is major 7. The first degree of the scale is major 7. 2, minor 7. That's the second degree of the scale, or the Dorian. 3 is minor 7. 4 is major 7. 5 is dominant 7. 6 is minor 7. And 7 is half diminished or minor 7 flat 5. That's the formula you can apply to any major scale. Take those chords, play them in succession, and you have a chord scale for that key. So the way it goes, again, if I was doing it in C major 7, C major 7, D minor 7, E minor 7, F major 7, G dominant 7, A minor 7, B minor 7 flat 5, and then back to C major 7. You can hear the sound of the scale within the chords as I play them in succession. Listen again. That's the full form chords. If I want to water that down, and that's more used in jazz, you know, in the jazzy type uh, structured songs. If I want to water it down to the one, three, five power chords, it would sound more like this. It sounds like more of a rock song you could you could build from it. Now, if I want to take it down one more notch, we could bring it down to the root five power chords, which are used more in metal music. And uh, you can still apply the modes to those kind of chords. All right, so memorize this formula. It's very important. 